Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another episode of Accidental Awesomeness where we talk about weird accidental discoveries in the medical community and how they've impacted the world. So today we are talking about the discovery of the implanted pacemaker and this is a fairly recent discovery within the last century. It was very interesting and I will tell you how it has come about. Let's get into it. So this was discovered by a assistant professor of electrical engineering at the University of Buffalo in 1956, and his name was Dr. Wilson Greatbatch. So Greatbatch was known to tinker with things, and he was very interested in how things worked, and he liked to mess around with things and play with things and make new things. He has many, many patents in his name already, and this one was actually discovered by accident. So he was working with a colleague trying to make a heart rhythm monitor, a recorder of some kind. So they're putting things together, tinkering with this electrical crap, and he puts in a larger resistor than was necessary in the certain whatever, electrical stuff. So instead of the machine recording, it starts making impulses. So it starts making rhythmic beats, just like a heart. And he was like, screw this recorder idea, I am making a actual thing to keep the heart going. Because he thought, you know, obviously ailing hearts could probably use this because it just will zap it into shape, which it does. So he tinkered with this and made changes and eventually pitched it to a few doctors at the VA in Buffalo and he dem they demonstrated it on a dog. Again with the animal testing. So after it was pitched to the docs of the VA, he continued to perfect it and eventually it was approved for human trials in 1960. He even tested it on his two children. Did your two children have heart problems? I, I feel like both of them did not have heart problems. Like why are you testing this on your children? Uh, it's a little sketchy. I don't know about that. It was licensed for production and in human use in 1961 and has been used ever since. And the way it works is that it's a little thing and it has wires that come off of it that connect to certain parts of the heart and just shock it when it's not shocking itself and it makes the muscle contract, therefore pumping blood to the body and the brain, etc. Very ingenious discovery and it's kind of funny that they like literally figured this out by accident because they used the wrong parts. Like, you'd think an electrical engineer would know the right parts to use, but it's pretty cool that he didn't use the right parts because now we have a pacemaker. So this guy was obviously not stupid, but he's also uh, financially smart. He uh, worked on the lithium battery and he does own the rights to the lithium iodine battery that is used in the pacemaker. Has, he also was the founder of the Great Batch Inc. that produces those. So not only does he get the money from, you know, discovering it, he also sells them the batteries that run it. He even re-engineered the design at one point to make it more compact and resistant to body fluids so that it could be properly implanted in the body because obviously when stuff first comes out there's little bumps and hiccups and whatever so he perfected it even after that. And he's also responsible for many other medical discoveries such as things include related to AIDS research and obviously the lithium battery is used in many applications other than in the pacemaker. And he also sailed around on a solar powered canoe at one point. Like why not? I've already done all this other stuff. Why not? So he did actually die just recently in 2011, in September of 2011. And I don't know if he ever actually got to have his own pacemaker. It never said if he ever was implanted with his own pacemaker, like if he ever needed one. But that would have been ironic, wouldn't it? But that's his story of how he accidentally discovered the pacemaker. If you like this video, comment down below and let me know. Or if you have a pacemaker, let me know how you like it, because it was just discovered less than 100 years ago. If you like this video, there are some things floating around here that you may also enjoy. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.